Hi guys, so in today's video, I wanna share with you six products that I truly feel are gonna save you some money, and who doesn't like that? I've really been realizing lately that sometimes high-end products aren't worth it, and there are some drugstore options that are just as good, if not better. Now, I'm not calling these dupes by any means, but for me, comparing them to the high-end equivalent, I feel like the differences are so slight, and like I said, sometimes the drugstore option is even better. So for me, those slight differences just are not worth the extra money. Let's go ahead and start with your base though, your face makeup. And I almost said foundation, but this is technically not that. I really wanted to tell you guys how much I have been loving the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I got the shade in 520 Light, and I feel like if I get any more tan, I'm gonna have to go up a shade. But guys, as soon as I tried this formulation, it blew me away. This runs about seven to eight fifty, depending on where you buy it. And I think that's an amazing, amazing price. And personally for me, this formulation is better than any other BB cream that is high-end that I have ever tried. Throwing one out there for you guys, I was really, really hooked on the Smashbox Camera Ready BB cream um, right when it came out, and that stuff, let me check my little list, is $39, and I can't, like I said, I don't want to say they're dupes, I can't really touch on the formula of the Smashbox one, but as from what I can remember, I loved that, and I repurchased it multiple times, but after finding this, I don't know why I would even go spend my money on that one. <laughs> For this, it just gives me a flawless look, and I like coverage, so for me, the coverage on this was really, really, really nice. It's not full coverage, but it's definitely that middle ground, or it's a good medium coverage, and I feel like for every day, it's amazing. Because it's a matte finish, I feel like it stays put throughout the entire day whenever I look at my skin and I have this on. It almost does what like the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation did for me, which is the fact that I just look at my skin and it just looks super smooth and even. Seriously, I love this. I've been wearing it every single day and for the price, guys, I, you seriously can't go wrong. I also wanted to mention um, that really quick before I forget because if you guys wanna try any of these things and you're on a budget and you're afraid you're gonna waste your money even on the drugstore stuff, just make sure to buy it somewhere where you can return it. So that's anywhere from Target, Meyer, CVS, um, Walgreens, Walmart, like literally Kroger, everywhere that personally I shop right now returns open used makeup as long as you haven't used like all of it and you have your receipt and you follow the return policy. So that is just a little tip here if you wanna try any of these because guys, you're not really out anything if you don't end up liking it. Next up is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. This is my baby and I never see my Myself going back to the Anastasia ones. I get the shade in brunette and this will cost you about $8.99 at the drugstore compared to the Anastasia one which is $21. And just think how often you have to repurchase these guys. Trust me, I'm gonna save you a lot of money. The drugstore within the past I would say six months to a year has been really stepping up their drugstore eyebrow game and with this one guys like I was sold the minute I saw it. I love the very very skinny tip that it has on this end with the color and I feel like the formulation on this is really really nice. Nice. I love the size of the pencil for one. I feel like it is very, very, very comparable to the Anastasia one and the fact that this little side is just the right size. I love the formulation of this pencil as well because it's not too creamy where it's gonna budge throughout the day, but it's not too hard or thick either to where you like you really have to work at getting the color in your brows. This color brunette also matches me really well. I have it in my eyebrows today along with all of these products. I'm actually wearing them all um, and I love that it features a little spoolie too. Another thing that the Anastasia one actually don't do and I actually prefer with this one is that the caps are different colors. I know that seems silly but it really helps it helps a girl out let me tell you because the colored one goes on the one side with the color and then the clear one goes on the spoolie and I mean I'm sure you guys can tell these caps are different sizes and with the Anastasia one let me just tell you um, how many times I took the small one and I mashed it on the product end. <laughs> Speaking of another eyebrow pick I have the Essence Make Me Brow to share with you guys and this is an eyebrow gel mascara and I got the shade 02 brownie brows this was a more recent find for me um, I featured it in my Ulta haul and I actually like since then have even done an update on all of those products in the Ulta haul but let me tell you guys for how much is this again $2.99 uh, yeah you can't go wrong this is just a really nice product to really set your brows in place it does have fibers in there that I feel like thicken my brows just a little bit and the size of the brush is really nice obviously this is very 
comparable to the Benefit Gimme Brow, and I have used that because I got a sample, I think, in Birchbox. And let me tell you, the minute I tried the Benefit one, I did realize it was fairly different than this, but they are different and they are good for different reasons. They're different for different reasons. <laughs> that made no sense. So with the Benefit one, it definitely works great on its own. Like that, I feel like, is where that one stands out a little bit because it definitely adds more color to your brows, it thickens them even more, and I think the brush is even smaller than this one. For someone like me though, who uses this over a pencil already, because even with the Benefit one, I didn't feel like it was as precise, and I don't feel like it colored my brows in enough for me to just use it on its own. So like I said, if you're someone like me and you're putting a product like this over a pencil already, the Essence one is your go-to. Like, it's gonna get you through. So just for the record, this one does not thicken your brows as much as that, and it doesn't deposit as much color as the Benefit one, but seriously, on top of an eyebrow pencil, guys, it's amazing, and it does the job. So in my mind, there is no reason to go get the Benefit one when I can get this for three bucks. I should have probably featured this next one right after the face product, but another one, guys, that I can't rave enough about is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I get the shade 004 Sandstorm, and out of all of these products, this is the one that I've been using the longest. If you guys have been here for a while, you will know that I always use this and I always talk about it. And I just dropped it. <laughs> Whoops. I feel like this powder is a no-brainer. For me, I just really love using it with my e.l.f. powder brush, which I guess I should have probably brought up here because I think that is an amazing brush for the drugstore for the price as well. But seriously, guys, this mattifies my skin without looking too cakey or heavy, and I love using it just literally all over. I'll put it over my eyes after I do concealer and on my entire face, and I feel like it does an amazing job. I actually recommended this to my mom recently, and she just told me the other day, I think I asked her, how are you liking that powder and she's like I really feel like it controls my oil so she does have oily skin I have dry skin it works for the both of us and guys I hate to admit it but I remember when I purchased a Becca powder this was a very long time ago and that stuff was like 40 bucks and I truthfully don't feel like it did anything more than this one right here that is between four and five dollars this I feel like is always gonna be a staple for me and I just feel like you can't go wrong for me and my experience powders are just very very similar so I see no no reason to go shopping high-end for one. Next up I have a blush to tell you guys about and lately I've really been realizing, I feel like I've been saying that a lot too, really realizing that drugstore blushes are amazing. Of course I have a lot of my favorite high-end ones still down in my room but guys the city color one blew me away. This for me is the newest addition like within all of these products and I got it because of Emily Eddington. I didn't realize that I could get my hands on city color um, in stores until there was just a five below built right up the street from me whoa I hit my hair when I did that um, but like I said it's very very new and I heard Emily Eddington in one of her videos mention that you can sometimes find them there so of course knowing me I rushed to the five below and they had a really nice display so yeah it does look like it comes in 12 colors some of them might be more like bronzers but I really had two or three colors in mind from that Emily Eddington video and unfortunately I don't think they ended up having any of those so I went with the brightest most Barbie pink one I could find and this one was dragon fruit. I just got one um, because this is really the color that spoke to me. I feel like it's coming off really cool toned on um, camera but in person it's just like a really really nice pink. It's not too cool and it's not too warm. I have it on my cheeks today and I don't think it's the most blendable like buttery blush I've ever seen but seriously for the price this is I think it's actually on the City Colors website right now for $2.50 which is incredible. They are sold out of a few of like the more bronzy shades but all of the bright ones they still have on here so I'll make sure to link that down below. It says the regular price is $4.99 and I think I actually paid about $3.99 for this at five below. So even though I feel like I have to work a tiny bit harder at blending this out on my cheeks, for the color payoff and the longevity of this color on my face, I am willing to take that extra time, especially since this is only a few bucks. And last but not least, something for the lips. This would not be a lacy video if I didn't touch on something that is gonna save you money for your lips. But I love these jumbo pencils from the drugstore and I feel like lately they have been coming out with so many 
many. I say lately, but I feel like it was like a couple summers ago when they just started coming out with a ton of these. This specific one is from Neutrogena. It's their Moisture Smooth Color Stick in Cherry Pink, and it is exactly what I'm wearing on my lips today. Um, I really loved these Neutrogena ones right when they came out. It was actually right, I think it was like one of the first blog posts I ever did, but I loved them because they were super comfortable, the colors were beautiful yet natural, and they just felt very moisturizing on my lips. And then I realized somehow I missed when they came out with the creamy versions, and I must say, these did not disappoint either. I feel like everything that I said for the original formulation rings true for this one. The color payoff is incredible. They're super easy to apply, very creamy, comfortable, and all of that good stuff. So I just feel like why would anyone go to Clinique to buy one of those chubby sticks for 17 bucks when you can get something like this for about nine? So that's everything for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I really do hope it was helpful. If it was, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Just remember that these are my own personal opinions. You know, some of these products might not work for you and you might have something in these categories that works for you really well that is high-end and I completely understand that I have a place in my heart for high-end products and I feel like there are times where I definitely want to buy high-end but for these in particular I just feel like they will save you a lot of money because they did for me I can already think of a few things for like a part two so if you guys want to see another version of this video please let me know and also make sure to leave any recommendations you guys have for products like this because I would love to try them but other than that have a great rest of your day as always thank you so so much for watching and i will see you next time bye hello everyone hello but the liddy liddy i love the little i love the very slim spend more money on a high-end virgin no <laughs> virgin whoops Gamma's of the lipstick. Guys, just for the record, I, I feel like I need to throw this in there. I had a dream that I made an ASMR video. <laughs> Do you guys watch those? Seriously, like lately, I feel like I have been uh, addicted to ASMR videos. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go check it out. It's very weird at first, but trust me, they are very relaxing. <laughs>